Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I found myself saying that recently, which like used to be my old thing that I would do. But then I changed it because I didn't really like it. I friended it, it, but now I'm kind of going back to it. I don't really know what I'm saying at the beginning of all my videos, but hi. Um, today I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. I haven't done one in maybe like six months. I would check, but I have to go really quickly in this video because I'm supposed to leave my house soon. Yeah, so we'll just put it on the screen and you'll know. But today I went to two different grocery stores. I went to Stater Brothers. I live in California. I don't know if it's like a nationwide store. I don't believe it is. I honestly never hear people talk about it, but it's the equivalent to like any generic grocery store. Maybe like Ralph's or Vaughn's or Kroger or... I don't know, it's just like a normal grocery store. It's not exciting, not expensive. They just have normal foods. And then I went to the Bargain Grocery Outlet, Bargain Market Grocery Outlet. I'm not really sure, but it basically has a bunch of foods that have been overstocked from regular grocery stores. They get sent, they get sent there and then they are marked down. The prices are amazing. So I went to both of those. I'm gonna start with Stater Brothers and then we'll go on to Grocery Outlet. I also wanted to say, no, I did not shop at like Whole Foods in this video. Um, I think it's a misconception that you need to shop at Whole Foods if you're vegan. I would say 5% of my groceries, not even 5% of my groceries come from Whole Foods. I honestly don't even shop at Whole Foods anymore just because there's grocery stores that are closer to me and cheaper than that. So, so I'm just gonna get started. Whatever is in the first bag is what we're gonna do. Um, I first got four sweet potatoes because I love sweet potatoes and I like the white ones. Either these ones that are like tan on the outside and white on the inside or purple on the outside and white on the inside more than the like orange ones. So I got four of those. And then I also got some white nectarines because we've had nectarines recently, but they've been the yellow ones. So I got white ones instead. Okay, then I got these apples, which they're called sweetie apples. And I've never gotten them before. They were the same price as all the other apples, so I decided to try them out. It said crispy on the sticker, so they better be good. And if not, I'll be a little sad. No, I'm just... Stop it, I'm trying to film. I got some cabbage and cauliflower. Bananas, these are organic too. And then I got some rice cakes because I love rice cakes and I always get the Quaker lightly salted rice cakes so they're the best ones that I have found. I've been buying them for like three years now so I don't think I'm gonna change. Now we are on to the last stuff from Stater Brothers and I got Weetabix which People might think of like it was a weird kid's mushy cereal, but I like it, so I got it. I think it tastes good. And then I needed more oats, so I... This was this biggest container of organic oats they had. I saw something on the news about something bad in non-organic oats. I don't even remember what it was, but ever since then we've been buying organic. And quick oats are the best type of oats. And the rest of this stuff is just canned. So I got a big can of chickpeas because they're my favorite legume. And then I also got another can, but these ones are salt free. And that's just because I want to do something with the aquafaba. I've never made a dessert with aquafaba before, but I want to. I don't know what it is yet, but I knew I needed to get salt free. So the, wait, they put seaweed in this? The ingredients are organic garbanzo beans, water, and kombu seaweed. If that makes the aquafaba taste weird, I'm gonna be a little upset because I just wanted it to be like plain. I don't know. Next, I got a bunch of soups. I know that I could make my own soup at home and it would be cheaper and better for me. Like it wouldn't have so much sodium, but I don't eat a high sodium diet besides this, so thought it'd be fine um, and I don't like making my own soup at home one I just never make it taste as good and two you have to make such a big batch to the point where you have to eat like soup every single day and I just like to have one can so I can heat up a whole can and that's my meal so I got a bunch of different tomato soups I got progresso vegetable classics tomato basil which I've had this one quite a lot and it's good Oops, that was the next one I was gonna grab, and now it just fell on the floor. Same one, pretty much, but it's instead of tomato basil, it's tomato and red pepper. Then I just got hearty tomato, which now thinking about it, I feel like I didn't really like this one last time, but I haven't had it in so long that I wanted to try it. So we're gonna see. And then I got two of these 
Campbell's Well Yes Italian Vegetables and Farro Soup. And these ones I really liked too. So I got a bunch of soup, which is weird because it's still hot where I live. It's not fall weather. So I don't know. Now we're gonna move on to Grocery Outlet, which I feel like I got more fun stuff there. Here was just like produce, Weetabix, oats, and soup. I got flax milk, which I just got unsweetened original one. And I have not had flax milk in so long. I used to get it all the time and I don't even remember what it tastes like. Well, there's a lot of ingredients in here. Oh well. But I know flax has omega-3s, so thought it'd be good and I just wanted to switch it up. So, I have been obsessed with these Nature's Bakery brownies recently and they have them at Grocery Outlet for super cheap. It's two for a dollar, 50 cents each. Which if you know, some granola bars can go for like $3 a piece. Which these aren't really granola bars. They're like brownies, but they're, they're the best brownies that you will find like packaged ingredients wise. They aren't super healthy, but I don't care because they are amazing and I'm obsessed with them. And I kind of went a little overboard. And these each have 12 in them, so I bought 24 bars, so that's $12 for 24. Let me go check their website to see how much money I saved. Okay, so on their website, they are $1 a piece. So pretty much instead of spending $24 on all this, I spent $12 on all this. So I got half off, which is really good. And I am been eating like one of these every single day because I love them so much. Some Asian pears, apple pears, whatever you want to call them. These are like one of my favorite fruits. Frozen strawberries just because I wanted some and then I always have like one giant bag of frozen vegetables in my freezer But I used the last of them last night. So I got a giant one and this has Carrot zucchini yellow squash broccoli and cauliflower and now I got some vans frozen waffles Because they're good and they're easy if I'm running late somewhere and I wanted a breakfast that is quick so I got some of that. Wow, a lot of So Delicious products. I got the So Delicious unsweetened vanilla yogurt. I wish it was just unsweetened plain, but they didn't have that. However, this whole container was $1.99, which normally in grocery stores like Whole Foods or actually any store that sells it for full price, it's either $4.99 or $5.99. So I got over half off, which is amazing because this is really cheap. $1.99 for that is super cheap. And then I got another So Delicious yogurt. This one is a little small one. I normally don't like flavored yogurt. I feel like they taste a little artificial, but I've never tried the chocolate one, so I wanted to give it a shot. It was only 70 cents, so I'm going to try this, and then I'll see if I like it or not. And the last thing that I got, I am very excited for. If you don't know, So Delicious, this was like six months ago. I'm really late to this, but they came out with a like mousse ice cream. And there's a bunch of flavors. They only had mango there. Probably wouldn't have been my first choice if I actually had all the flavors. But I wanted to try it right now. And it was only $2.50. So that's really good for ice cream like this. Whoa, it's like whipped cream consistency. Okay, I obviously like it. I just ate a bunch of it. It's just so airy. Should have expected that. It's called mousse, but I don't know. It's good. Just, I don't know. It's good, though. I definitely like it. I want to try the other flavors. But that is the end of my grocery haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it maybe gave you some inspiration on what to buy on your next grocery trip. Picking someone up. And I said I would be at their house at noon. What time is it right now? 11.44. I so have to put all this away, so we're going to see how that goes. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. If everything goes to plan, I'm going to be turning one of my friends vegan for a day. So I'm super excited for that. She's also a YouTuber. So you might know who she is. I don't know. I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to go eat all this food. So goodbye. See you later. Even though I don't have time to eat all this food because I have to leave now. But I'm excited for what I'm doing today. So. Goodbye, I'll take the thumbnail. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so late. Goodbye.